Hi teachers! So this is the second part of the how-to video that I posted earlier this week. Yung part 1, pa, yung first stage yun ng application process. And I promised to make a video about the second one which is the visa processing. But I've changed my mind and instead of talking with you about the visa processing, I want to talk with you about how to apply for a teaching job here in Taiwan through other venues aside from TFE. Uh, Pag-usapan muna natin before yung next part na i-vlog ko. Yung application process sa TFETP. I know maraming uh, nako-confuse pa rin or nagtatanong about um, some documentation kasi nga medyo hindi nga consistent yung TFETP at saka yung Taiwan government din sa mga policies nila. So lately or recently, may narinig ako na uh, they still consider your application kahit uh, DFA authenticated lang. So I'm not sure if that is true, pero may nagsasabi na uh, DFETP still accommodated their application na authenticated lang and then if they pass or uh, yeah, if they pass the first stage, then they, or after interview, then they will have to process their authentication sa TECO. So, that's uh, a good news. That's because uh, sa website nila, iba naman yung sinasabi. Sinasabi nila, upon application, kailangan naka-authenticated na yung documents sa DFA and TECO. So, if, the, if it's true na DFA authenticated lang yung needed for application process first stage, then that's good. But, sa kanila application process, so tapos na yung first stage nila. So, the application process started January 1 hanggang March 31st lang. So, um, not so sure if they will still accept application, pero, you know, just try. And, with regards to tech authentication naman, uh, sa mga protocols nila ngayon. Again, because it's pandemic, tsaka may mga measures din sila to yung mga preventive measures sa Teco Philippines. So, kahit yung website nila hindi rin updated. So, just call them. What we're sharing here, uh, what I'm sharing here, please, a uh, disclaimer lang, uh, please don't regard that as the final na ano, na protocol kasi nag iba iba siya depende sa situation depende sa um, domestic situation doon sa Pilipinas at saka dito sa Taiwan. So, please be proactive lang sa pag-check ng mga updates. We're trying to help, but, you know, we, we are not TFETP. Hindi kami agent. Hindi, we're just plain teachers here na trying to help. Okay? So, yun. Um, for this vlog, I just want to share with you Na aside from uh, TFETP, meron pang mga ibang venues and I would like to show that to you uh, para may iba pa kayong idea na, you know, there, there are other venues na, job venues na pwede nyong applyan kahit wala na yung or kahit hindi na tumatanggap yung TFETP for application this fall, for fall 2022. So aside from the TFETP, nasabi ko sa inyo noon na uh, uh, there are still other venues and one of those um, are the agencies. So, meron dito na quite popular um, agencies na nag-recruit ng teachers. Um, one, one agency, recruitment agency, wala, wala akong alam na agency dyan sa Philippines na nag-recruit teachers for Taiwan. Uh, I think there there are agencies, but ang problema naman kasi pag dyan nang galing ang agency, wala naman silang connection na school dito eh. So, yung agencies kasi dito, they are connected to schools na. So, there are schools na um, hire them uh, or ask them to hire teachers for, for their school. Kaya, mas mabilis kung dito sa Taiwan na agencies. So, I'm sharing with you the other, the first one, the Teach Taiwan. Kung nakikita nyo yan sa screen, ito yung Teach Taiwan. And if you look at the qualification, so how it works, the first thing there is the qualification. Uh, what they're looking for, meron dun list ng mga native English speakers. That's their priority maybe, but they're also hiring Filipinos. So, they did not put uh, specifically Philippines or other non-native English speakers, pero 
they I, there are Filipinos na na hire ng ng agency na to. And um it's very similar to TFETP yung mga requirements nila. Uh, you should uh, you should have your degree and or higher that's preferred for Filipinos or for Philippine passport holders dapat pero kang teaching license. So yan talaga pinaka importante kasi sa MOE SOP na yan pag Philippine passport 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 holder ka kailangan mo ng teaching license. And they also noted na yung ibang teaching qualifications like uh, TESOL, um, CELTA, mga ganyan, hindi siya kinakonsider ng Taiwan government as teaching edu- uh, qualification. Meron actually silang memo na pinadala sa mga schools listing for specific countries kung ano ang hinahanap na teaching qualification. So, school namin pinadalhan yan. And I saw that in the Philippines, teaching license na authenticated ng DFA ang um, ang pinadala authenticated by DFA and uh, TECO tapos of course yung criminal record so very very um, clear yan uh, but here in Teach Taiwan hindi nila uh, clear, hindi clear dito if you needed your degree to be authenticated by DFA or TECO and TECO so that's one thing na clarify muna or you should ask if you are planning to apply dito sa Teach Taiwan you have to check this website. Okay, sa second na agency na quite popular din dito sa Taiwan is the Reach to Teach Recruitment Agency. So just to be clear, hindi ako associated uh, sa, sa any of the agencies that I am sharing with you. And hindi ako na-hire through agency as well. I'm just sharing with you what I know from, um, you know, from other people, shared by other people. And um, ito lang yung, actually dalawa lang ang be sharing with you kasi yung isa yung teach. I don't really know much about that particular um, agency. So if you look at the screen, Reach to Teach uh, is also recruiting uh, actually Taiwan and Korea. And they are still recruiting until now. If you look at the here, bottom, they stated there that they are uh, hiring throughout the year. You can still um, apply. Anyway, I'm not so sure kung you will be asked for a fee for these agencies or maybe the payment is with the agency and the school. So you also have to, uh, I think, discover that for you. Moving yourself. on, so look at the requirements. Same thing, uh, basta sa Philippine passport holder, you need to have your degree and your teaching license and your criminal check, which is from the NBI. So very similar lang kasi yung processing dito sa pagkuha ng work permit is all the same across different types of schools. So cram school, formal schools, so they're all the same. Although yung cram school, ano mention ko na rin dito uh, before sa mga sa iba kong uh, videos na uh, cram schools will get the working permit from Ministry of Labor whereas the uh, formal schools sa Ministry of uh, Education sila. All right. Just check this site. It's re- Reach to Teach Recruitment Agency or Recruiting. You can also look at their facts page because marami silang ano marami silang common questions na nasagot na diyan and you'll find a lot of information from there yung mga yung mga duties of an ESL teacher nandito tsaka yung mga salary culture here in Taiwan and all of that so please do check their website as well baka diyan ka matanggap or so yan yun yung pang- aside from the TFETP which is the government sponsored uh, program the other one is through agency so i've uh, given you two ex- two two agencies teach taiwan and then the reach to teach recruiting so now, yes. the third venue for job application directly to schools so there are a lot of schools na nagpo-post actually ng jobs sa facebook ganon sa sa may mga job ads page pages Meron dito sa Taiwan ang one of the most famous kahit pa noon sa akin. Anyway, I've been here for almost two decades na. And yung Tilet actually, yung Tilet.com, yan yung go-to page before ng mga foreigner. It was like, you know, before Facebook, mga Friendster, Friendster era pa nun. 
Friendster time pa nun. So, yung tilat.com, kahit maghanap ka ng apartment dito, dyan yan. It was very, very uh, helpful na page para sa mga foreigners. Ito yung pinakauna na, na page dito. Helping out with the job uh, job ads and all. So, dito sa tilat.com, teaching jobs. A lot of schools na, and cram schools are posting here. Until now, actually, marami pa rin mga private schools na nag-post uh, ng ads dito. So, you can look for schools here and then uh, you will be directed or actually, may ano na sila dyan eh. Uh, it will uh, give you the contact in from uh, email and then you can uh, email them your resume and kung ano pa yung mga qualifications. Again, it will be the same sa mga Philippine passport, passport holder. Uh, you will be asked to submit your um degree, your uh, teaching license, yung NBI, standard operating procedure na yan. Just take note that some of the private school medyo bago lang sila sa pag-hire ng foreigners. So, they, they don't really know much about hiring. Pero may mga ibang private schools na uh, they've been doing this. They've been hiring foreign teachers so they know the process with the MOE. Easier na sa kanila and they know the procedure itself. Palagi silang, or if they are known to hire foreign teachers, then mas mabilis na yung pag-approve ng MOE sa kanila. And another is cram schools. Uh, marami din cram schools dito. And you can see, I think some of them also uh, include their ano, website or Facebook page. You check them out, uh, submit your application or kung anong necessary nila na ano, na... You know, the requirement. So, I'm gonna direct you to our group group page sa League of Filipino Teachers in Taiwan. So, if you go there, meron doon sa um, guide section. And in that guide section, I actually posted a list of schools. Although, la, hindi siya, hindi ko in-include yung cram school kasi mahirap kunin yung list of cram schools. So, if you look at the guide number two, this is about application and hiring process. Meron doon mga list of schools. I've got list of bilingual schools and list of Taiwan's international schools. Here you can, these, these are uh, the websites ng mga schools na to. So, you know, tiyaga lang talaga. You can uh, directly email them if they are hiring. Uh, kasi ngayon hiring season talaga siya until May or June. Well, May is the safest until May because yung ano yung closing ng school dito is June 30. So after that, summer vacation and the start of the contract will be August 1st. So before July 1st, then everything should be ano na, settled na sa hiring ng lahat ng positions na fill in na dapat na mga schools yan. So I have here the list of bilingual schools, both private and public. And they all have foreign departments or foreign division, uh, international division, and you can apply. Uh, and besides, for this private school, sa mga may international divisions na mga private schools, there are other subjects na pwede yung ituro, especially kung ma madlake or if they if the school has bigger population sa international department nila or international division, then most likely uh, they are offering courses in english so they will have social studies uh, sciences um in english so yung sa public school kasi ano lang siya as in english subject lang siya english language lang yung ituturo ng mga english teachers whereas sa private school sa ibang in private school with uh international division school is offering the whole international curriculum yung lahat ng subjects in english following an international curriculum so maraming opportunities dyan maghanap ka lang or check out their website. Ang dami niyan. So, good luck. And of course, yung international schools na rin. There's a list of international schools dito. Yung pag sinasabing international schools, these are the schools for international residents. Okay? That's different from private schools na may international department. So, there's also, uh, well, if you compare the number of international schools like the for foreign residents or international residents mas mas konti lang sila dito sa Taiwan compared to private schools with international divisions both are still both offers international curriculum and deliver medium of instruction is in english so try nyo rin you know you'll never know so ayan uh, i think this is it for part 2 i know na na mention ko na i will be talking about 
uh, getting the resident visa. But Remember. then, na sa mga new pa sa pag-apply or paghanap ng trabaho, they probably need more guidance sa kung saan sila pupunta. Kasi again, na kailangan yung makahanap ng school muna before kayo makakuha ng resident visa. So, why the school needs to apply or has to apply for your working permit? Working permit is one major uh, requirement for um, resident visa, for getting your res resident visa dito sa Taiwan. Um, yun. So, kailangan nyo ng work permit and you can only do that by um, signing a contract with the so, school. Good luck sa pag uh, hunt uh, job hunting nyo dito sa Taiwan. If you have other questions that you want to ask, just, you know, drop a message. You can also join our group, the League of Filipino Teachers in Taiwan and the Filipino Teachers in Taiwan group. There are two groups here. Uh, yung isa, yung Filipino Teachers in Taiwan. Um, Nagpo-post sila dun ng mga job ads. So, that would be very helpful. Sa uh, League naman, uh, we're not posting job ads there kasi Meron, yung isang group is jana nakatuon. So, uh, moderators are helpful, but the groups that I've mentioned sa Facebook yan. So, that's it. Bye!